If every year of playing the guitar made me level up as a bard, I would be at level 12 by now! Greetings fellows! Welcome to Guitars and Dragons channel. My name is Łukasz Kapuściński and after 20 years of my guitar journey, I learned quite a few things about making progress. If you let me take 5 minutes of your precious time, I'll speed up for you those two decades of experience into three ultimate tips on getting better on guitar. So please, stay a while and listen. Tip number one, record yourself playing. The point of playing the guitar is to create music. However, when you play, some of your attention flies towards the movement of your fingers. The technical challenges can distract you from the actual goal. So pick up your smartphone, open a recording app and hit the red button perform the song or part of it, play it and listen to it just as if you were listening to music. You'll be surprised with how the song you play actually sounds like and you'll notice much clearer what can be improved. Pay attention to things like the tone, the tempo, the dynamics, perhaps your tone was too bright or maybe you were rushing and you had no idea. It happens to me all the time by the way. Playing classical guitar or fingerstyle techniques is demanding because you're actually a one-man band responsible for the melody, the rhythm and the bass at once. Remember that the melody is usually the most important to stress, so make sure you emphasize it over the other notes. The trick is that the bass can also take over the lead and sometimes the melody can even be somewhat hidden across multiple voices, so I recommend a careful listening. Tip number two, play slowly and use a metronome. I know what you're thinking, the metronome is dull. The truth though is, it might be the most important tool of a musician next to the instrument itself. Once you can roughly play the whole song, divide it into smaller parts, especially those most challenging ones, and practice them slowly first. For the most demanding parts, make sure to practice at really slow tempos, like 50 beats per minute. When you can comfortably play the part without any mistakes twice in a row, speed up the beats by not more than 5 bpm at once. This way you will not only develop better time control, but your playing will get much more accurate and robust in general. Eventually you'll reach the target pace. After a short break, you'll notice how effortless your playing became. Did I mention that it's important to focus more on the music than on the movement of your fingers? Before I reveal tip number 3, let me please rise the mug of my favorite Dwarven brew and say it with a deep gratitude. Cheers to Skillshare for sponsoring this video! Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. You can choose from photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing and of course guitar playing, plus much more, anything that matches your interest really. I always wanted to share my thoughts more often with you fellows, but I had no idea how to vlog. And here comes Marcus Brownlee known as MKBHD with his class about how to script, shoot and edit a talking footage. Just like this one. The class was really inspiring and helped me out a lot. I found particularly useful tips about highlighting A-roll over B-roll in the script and how to apply j cut properly. Now I have a little surprise for you. The first 1000 people to use the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The platform is completely ad free so you can focus entirely on your goals. Alright, it's time for tip number 3. Play shorter but more frequently. If you believe you need an hour or at least half an hour of time to practice effectively, otherwise it wouldn't even make sense to pick up the guitar, you're wrong. In 2022, to focus on a single thing is probably harder than ever. To practice means to put an effort, so with so much cool stuff to do around, it's important to preserve the sense of fun with the instrument. If you have an hour of time reserved daily for the guitar, and you push yourself to spend it all during a single session every day, you're probably on a straight path to procrastination. The key is to find a good balance between inspiration and discipline. The first one can be boosted by exploring YouTube and simply watching other guitarists playing the music you like. For the latter, I recommend using a timer app.
What I learned is that it's actually more effective these days to plan three short practice sessions a day. For example, in the morning, then after lunch and in the evening. Pick one session to be a bit longer, uh, whatever fits your lifestyle, and the other two can be really short, even a couple of minutes. And don't get me wrong, if you can just sit down with the instrument and play for hours during a single session, it can of course be super beneficial. My point is rather to stress the value of grabbing the guitar a couple of times a day. Alright fellows, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. If you're still watching this, I have actually an extra surprise for you. Three taps from my collection of your choice for anyone who types in the comment section the legendary phrase from Baldur's Gate. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Feel free to type the phrase in your native language. In Polish it is... Przed wyruszeniem w drogę należy zebrać drużynę. Cheers!